Today you'll learn how to create this fake 3D box animation, and all the assets used in this video are linked below in the description. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. First, take a screenshot of the box and crop it so that only the box is visible in the frame. Now go to ChatGPT and from the left menu, open Sora. Upload the crop screenshot and type in your prompt. Then hit Remix. After it finishes generating, click the three dots and download the image. Next, open a light motion and create a new composition. I'm importing the reference animation, which we'll be using as a guide to break everything down. Then, import the image you just downloaded. Use the scale and position properties to match its size and position according to the reference animation. Now, go to Effects, Add Effect, and apply Advanced Chroma Key using standard settings. Head over to Color and Fill, select the background color, and remove it. This turns the image into a transparent PNG. Unhide the reference animation and bring it to the top. Now add a rounded rectangle, adjust its size and corner radius, and apply a matching color using Color and Fill. Duplicate the rectangle, reduce its size slightly, and set a different shade. Do this one more time to fit the design. Group all three layers and place them above the box image. Then ungroup them again for easier edits. Now add a circle shape, convert it into an outline, and tap on edit points. Tap the point icon to edit the shape and delete one side to make it a semicircle. Extract the color from the reference using color and fill again. Add a rectangle on top and color it the same. Use vector drawing to create a small extra shape. Fill it with color, and use Clip Mask to attach it over the semicircle. Now stretch all layers to match the full duration of the animation and place them properly. Group them all together.
add a null layer, hide it, and stretch it across the timeline. Don't worry, hiding the null will only remove the crosshair. The animation will still work. Now parent the grouped box to the null. Set markers before beginning the animation. On the group layer, add two position keyframes and move the first keyframe outside the preview area. Apply a smooth ease in out motion graph. Add two more keyframes later in the timeline. And move the object downward for the second animation. Again, apply an ease in out graph. On the null layer, use the scale property, add two keyframes, and on the second keyframe, scale it down slightly and apply the same smooth graph. Now you'll see how masking helps create the fake 3D effect, where it looks like the shapes are going inside the box. Create a shape using vector drawing that covers the mouth slash opening of the box. Go to Blending and Opacity and select Mask. Select all layers except the box PNG and the background. Play it now and you'll see it's working, but not fully. The shape still doesn't go inside the box correctly. To fix this, ungroup the mask layers and adjust the shape points manually. Then, on the null layer, reposition the second scale keyframe exactly where the shape starts entering the box. Also, fine-tune the position of the grouped shapes so they sit perfectly over the box opening. And make sure the animation graph is set to ease in and out. Now, group all layers again, except the box PNG and background, and play the animation. You should now see the fake 3D box effect working as expected. Next, to make it look like multiple shapes are falling into the box, duplicate the shape layer several times. Offset each one slightly on the timeline, Once the animation finishes, trim all duplicated layers from the right to avoid unnecessary length. Add another null layer, and parent all these duplicated shapes to it. Now on this null layer, add two position keyframes, move the second one slightly upwards, and apply a cyclic graph to give it a subtle wiggle effect. To complete the look, let's add some stars. Insert a star shape, go to Edit Shape, reduce the points to four, 
and shrink the inner radius. Set your desired color. On the scale property, add two keyframes. Fully scaled down to the start. And stretch the layer to the end. Add position keyframes at the start and end. Copy the cyclic graph from the previous null and apply it here. Repeat this for rotation as well. Duplicate the star layer multiple times and place them in different spots around the composition. Group all stars together. Now, add the hue shift effect to each star and tweak their hue settings individually for a colorful, dynamic look. And that's it! You've just created a clean, colorful, and dynamic fake 3D box animation inside a light motion.